Yeah, Alfred's had a couple of games now. It's starting to look like Alfred from the beginning of the year. Simmons, the screwball. So he tried a three, which he never does. He's blocked underneath by the basket and gets it right back. I wanna go far, there's no stopping. I see them watching, I see them waiting. One day I swear I'm gonna be on the station. Mama, I gotta pay. If you ever ask me who's my favorite player in the NBA, I will simply tell you Ben Simmons and D'Angelo Russell. The D'Angelo Russell one is simple. He went to Ohio State, and if you know me, I am a huge Ohio State fan, football and basketball. I've been an Ohio State fan since they, the football and basketball team went to the championship game and lost to Florida in both sports. I think that was like in 2006. Uh, Diehard college fans, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So when he was at Ohio State, I fell in love with his game. He took us, you know, somewhat far, and he got selected second. I've been a fan of him since. I always knew that he was going to someday be a type of All Star. So to see him and Ben Simmons make it this. This year was a big thing for me and for Ben Simmons I just been a fan of him because he was so similar to LeBron and Magic Johnson to me and I've been a big LeBron fan and I didn't get to see Magic Johnson growing up but to see a flashy point guard like that make all the great passes and stuff like that I always kind of admired his game even though I never seen him live so I thought Ben Simmons would be my Magic Johnson like this modern day era Magic Johnson so it was great to see and that's why I fell in love with his game you know became a big fan of him so for me this video was extremely tough for me to make because I love Ben Simmons so much but it's the honest to God truth Ben Simmons is just clearly the NBA's best liability and when I say that I mean as far as being a great player he's great he's up there he can dominate the game in so many factors without even being able to shoot but as far as being a big 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 you know liability for his team he's also that as well and it hurts and it's crazy because like with DeAndre Jordan when he couldn't hit free throws for the Clippers as much as it hurt him, I mean, he he was a big player and he was great while he was on the court, but Ben Simmons is the, the 76ers point guard. Like, he literally runs the show. So the ball is supposed to be in his hand for the majority of the game. And when it's crunch time, like Magic Johnson did, like LeBron James does, all these great bigger ball handlers of the past and the present, like LeBron James, you would love for him to be able to monitor the game and make the big play and stuff like that. But he can't shoot a free throw to save his life. He damn sure can't shoot a three-pointer. He barely can shoot 15 feet you know beyond the rim so he's the nba's biggest liability and i know you keep hearing me say the nba's best liability or the nba's biggest liability whatever like what does that mean i'm saying that as far as a talent you would love for this guy to be able to shoot and you know imagine what he can bring to the nba like the eastern conference if ben simmons developed a real jump shot like i almost feel like ben simmons is holding up the league with his inability to shoot because the eastern conference will be way more spicy you you can actually have maybe a LeBron James 2.0 if this guy actually had a jump shot like it would be so amazing for the league and you can actually see the Eastern Conference and Philly evolve but even with Tobias Harris Jimmy Butler Joel Embiid JJ Redick you still feel like man Boston just has Philly by the balls Milwaukee might even have Philly Toronto might have Philly now that they have Kawhi Leonard Philly might they can't actually live up to their full potential because they have a point guard that can't shoot in an NBA that's a shooting league like if you look at the NBA today and you look at how many three-point attempts teams are shooting behind the arch and all that stuff nowadays it's almost 35 36 37 some teams are shooting 30 you know 43s per game and stuff like that I mean teams are pulling them now because it's become such a big factor to winning I'm showing you guys now on the screen, I'm sure, how many three-point attempts, you know, teams are jacking up nowadays. Now, if you go back 20 years ago, it's about 10 three-pointers a game, 11, 12. Players are shooting more than that now. So, nowadays, if you can't shoot, you damn near can't really be the elite player that you want players to be. And to me, you don't even have to be Stephen Curry, uh, James Harden, LeBron James type from the, you know, beyond the arch. And yeah, I said LeBron, because LeBron can actually shoot now. I know people, LeBron, yeah, LeBron can shoot now. So, don't, you know, don't quote me and try to make something LeBron can't shoot he can shoot but you don't even have to be that nowadays even Giannis Antetokounmpo he's not the greatest but at least he shoots him so you have to respect it I'm using this picture as my thumbnail because it was a picture that came out on NBA memes of basically Ben Simmons at the three-point line and basically almost everybody else damn near at the baseline because this dude wouldn't even you know everyone knows he won't even attempt to shoot so everyone damn near backs up to the baseline and let this man have all that room and the NBA I mean that's damn near ridiculous where players get paid, you know, paid to practice and do all this stuff. And this guy won't even attempt to shoot a three.
as great as Ben Simmons is, and like I said, this hurts me because I love him, but I'm frustrated because I felt like he was going to come back this year, at least with an attempt. Like, okay, I've been working on it. Let me at least shoot it. Let me let me get the mental thing out of my head. Let me at least pull it so that I can get this, you know, this roadblock out of my career. But he's averaging 0.13 three-point attempts per game. So he's not even shooting him unless it's like the shot clock down and stuff like that. So it's embarrassing as an NBA player to see this man not even attempt him. Ben Simmons would never, ever, 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 ever to me be a top 10, that top notch player like a Giannis, LeBron, uh, Paul George now, Kawhi Leonard. None of those players, all of those players have something in common. They can actually shoot at least 15, 20 feet behind the basket. If you can't even attempt it, you're never going to be in that, you know, that category. You're always going to be that second tier type of player. And that's what I think Ben Simmons is right now. And like I say, he's the NBA's biggest liability because if he actually developed that, he could be one one, two, three, as far as best players in the league because he's that talented and that dominant everywhere else. You can just see how the 76ers elevated last year and made the playoffs and actually won a playoff series because of Ben Simmons' presence. So he's actually a great, great player, but him not being able to shoot and not even attempting him is actually holding back the NBA because they can have another great, great dominant force if he would shoot and most importantly, the Sixers. But that's the video, guys. I mean, I'm just frustrated to see such, you know, a player that I support so big, so heavily, just not be able to even attempt it. Like, it's pretty much embarrassing. And I don't think the Sixers will ever go far if that man doesn't even try. So that really hurts me. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about it. Do you think he's the NBA's biggest liability? Uh, do all that great stuff? Because like I say, he's holding back the Sixers to me heavily because he, he, the mental thing and not even shooting them is just ridiculous. Uh, comment. Follow my social media sites. I'm, I'm actually pretty active on there now. Do all of that great stuff, guys. And until next time, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned.